Yo peeps, mischief here. Yes, I'm on my old phone. Okay, I'm just recording this because I recorded a little segment the other day on my way down to Portsmouth. Uh, so I just thought I'd do an intro for it, basically, while I'm in between filming for some other bits and getting some information for you for some other pieces that have come forward. Uh, so, yes. Uh, so basically, I had to travel to Portsmouth the other day uh, for work to go and pick some panels up. And I was going to dip into Ailes, but I didn't, unfortunately, get time to go and have a look. At the site over there, or at Stonehenge, uh, which is where I wanted to go out to Salisbury as well to have a look over there, but I unfortunately didn't get any time, so I'm going to try and plan a trip down there where I can do some uh, filming and have a little chat with people over there and just get some information about the site and put an episode together um, about our Neolithic past in the UK. Um, so I thought uh, I'll let myself get on with this little piece that I did and uh, it explains some bits about what's going to be changing in the podcast coming up and uh, yeah so over to Dave from yesterday driving to Portsmouth. Here you go Dave. So uh, welcome to today's little podcast episode then and uh, YouTube video. Um, so today obviously I'm going to be hopefully going to Aylesbury so I'll be filming some of that if I'm there but I thought while we are on our journey I would talk about some of the things that I don't cover, some of the things that I do cover, some of the things that I'm interested in covering in the future, and why I'm interested in covering them. So, the UFO topic has always interested me. Um, I don't cover every single aspect of the UFO topic, because some of it is proper wacky and cuckoo. And I am wacky and cuckoo enough without having to have, you know, other wacky cuckoo things put on me, really. So, <clears throat> that's one of the reasons that I don't go in, you know, to some of the other hilarious claims. Now, there's things like, you know, the inner earth stuff uh, and other theories and things that I don't really believe myself at all. Um, I find them interesting to look into, uh, but I don't think it's a thing. But then again, saying that, there's other things that I do believe in, like elves, pixies, fairies, you know, sightings of those natures, and, you know, obviously, UFO encounters, credible ones, um, you know, Betty and Barney Hill, I've covered those on an episode, uh, Travis Walton, you know, I'm going to be covering on an episode soon, uh, you know, I've covered him briefly, um, you know, there's other people, obviously, that come forward as well, you know, David Grush, kind of David Frey, I've just been listening to him on a podcast with Ryan Graves, the uh, Merge podcast. Brilliant little podcast that is. Uh, if you want to go and check that out, if you've not heard of it before, um, and I'll, I'll link them in the uh, description below, if I can on uh, on here on Spotify and on YouTube. Um, but yeah, it's a it's a great little podcast, and he's getting you know proper military pilots on who have you know seen these objects, have engaged these objects, you know, and uh, he's created his own little sort of certain, I'll say little, his own service basically where uh, pilots can come and report to him, uh, you know, and give their own accounts and um, I can't remember off the top of my head now the name of the organisation that they've set up, um, but it is a fascinating one. So I wish you could see what I'm seeing right now, actually there's some beautiful fields that have come down the M40, lots of sheep. So, sorry, digressing. <laughs> um, so yeah, so uh, there's incredible things to the UFO topic, which is why I look into certain aspects of it. And then obviously you've got uh, other agendas that I want to cover as well, you know, uh, this hidden government, this hidden secret government that's overriding everybody, whether it's a corporation, whether it's a group of people, you know, um, we've seen it in action while we've been uh, in lockdowns over COVID. Uh, so I'm going to be doing an episode on the UN, on the WEF, or on the uh, WHO, which is part of the UN, and they're basic, you know, they're, they're not hiding anymore, it's not conspiracy, is it? It's not conspiracy anymore to say that someone's overriding all this stuff and overriding governments and things, because they are, you know, we pay into the UN, you know, most countries, it started after the war, 1947, it overtook the... Um, League of Nations that were, you know, was party before that. Um, so, you know, and it's th things like the EU, I mean, now, I, in some ways, wish that the UK was part of the EU still. Um, but, you know, if it had been done right, then Brexit could have worked, and it's, 
We're still in Brexit, aren't we, really? Because nothing's happened, nothing's changed about that. So I'm going to be doing some episodes on that. Um, so, yeah, so hopefully uh, I can get a couple of people to speak on that. Uh, I'm interested in local election stuff as well, local campaigns. Um, because, obviously, I want to cover stuff from the UK. We get a lot of stuff on here, uh, on YouTube and on Spotify from, well, from America. And we are heavily influenced by America. And I would like to have a, a, an English voice out there that's not, you know, overly bonkers or, you know, being stupid. And I'd like to interview people and get people on that, uh, you know, have an effect on our lives. Because... As I said before, I don't really agree in centralised government. Uh, I don't believe that we should be organised that way. You know, there should be, you know, common laws that we all live by. You know, don't murder, don't steal. You know, things that are pretty standard, you'd imagine, for a society. Um, But it seems that people above us can go above those laws, can't they? And they can murder, they can steal, they can abduct children and traffic them across the world and... You know, so there's many subjects like that that I would like to cover on this podcast, on this show. So, that is why I am going to be changing the name of the podcast to A Bit of Mischief. So, I'll be linking some episodes from the Conspiracy Cupboard, so don't worry, we're still going to be doing, I'm still going to be doing all the Conspiracy Cupboard stuff. Uh, But the podcast is going to be changing to A Bit of Mischief. Um... Just so I don't have anyone, you know, overly uh, concerned about any of their, uh, you know, jobs or anything like that if they're speaking on uh, on the channel. Uh, Because if you mention conspiracy, then uh, you know it's uh, it's a bit of a turn down in it. So um, so yeah, so the podcast will be will will be changing to a bit of mischief. Uh, Still done through me. Still done through the conspiracy cupboard. And uh, on now, I can talk, we're going to be talking about everything. Uh, so, you know, conspiracies, uh, everyday stuff, um, like I said, local election things, uh, what it takes to be a counsellor, you know, things that affect the everyday people's lives and stuff. So, uh, that is, uh, that's what's going to, what's going to be happening uh, from, uh, from later on today. So, the podcast will become a bit of mischief. So, look out for that change there. Uh, and that's basically so I can talk about things a bit more because I want to keep the conspiracy covered a um, well a conspiracy sort of zone really and you know cover all sorts of things like ghost sightings and things like that and you know hope to do investigations and stuff and keep it focused on that aspect so I'll, I can interview people on behalf of the conspiracy cupboard uh, on a bit of mischief uh, for a few items you know um, and uh, yeah it should be it should be fun uh, but just to separate the podcast from the uh, from the channel there, that's what I'm going to be doing. So uh, I'm going to be signing off for a little bit, and I'll be getting back to you. Uh, well, in a couple of hours, I've got two hours sixteen minutes before I get down to Portsmouth, and the way the traffic's going at the minute, it seems touch wood okay. So, uh, if you've got anything that you'd like me to cover uh, as well uh, on the Conspiracy Cupboard, or anything that you'd like me to talk about on A Bit of Mischief, um, you know, consp- you know uh, local election stuff, uh, things that you can, are concerned about in Britain, uh, prices, uh, you know, uh, where we're going to get our food from, you know, farmers, all sorts of things like that, then please feel free to drop me a message on here, a comment on here. And I will uh, look into it and see if I can find someone to talk about it to. And, um, yeah, um, do it that way. Because uh, it's getting hard to find guests, basically, to do uh, stuff on the conspiracy cupboard side. <laughs> um, so, yeah, a bit of mischief, a bit more open, a bit more fun. And, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah it's not, it doesn't have to have any links to conspiracy, it doesn't want to. So, uh, right, I'll be uh, seeing you guys in a little bit. And, uh, yeah, hope you enjoy your day. Having a nicer day than I am driving on the M40. Although, I've never actually been this far down the M40. Just interesting fact for you, this is the furthest south I've ever been. So, I'm wondering, um, what language do they speak down here? Do I, I, do I need a phrase book? Am I going to have to get Google Translate going? Um, you know, because this is pretty far south. You know, I'm from Yorkshire, myself. So this is like an alien world to me. I am basically 
piloting a UFO into an unknown, con un an undiscovered country. Uh, you know, I'm boldly going where no northerner has gone before. Portsmouth. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Bye, people. I'll see you in a bit. Over to you. Again. Okay, that's enough of me. Uh, so there's a little bit of me by the sea. So here you go. Here's a bit of me by the sea. Here we are then, look. On the coast of Portsmouth. down to see the sea while I was at the front. So, uh, yeah, it's a beautiful day, man. People yeah, watching me going, what the fuck is that idiot doing videoing himself? But, uh, yeah. Look at that tanker. Oh. Mad look. I could, make, I could shout to France. Still, I've got the uh, got the old feet out. So yeah, just need some paraglides over there. I'm gonna have a walk over. I'm gonna walk over to the paragliders in a minute. See what they're saying. Okay, that was me by the sea. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so I've got uh, lots of uh, different episodes upcoming. Uh, and like I say, I'm going to be changing the podcast to a bit of mischief. So, so we're doing the conspiracy cupboard on here. I'm just going to separate the podcast from the conspiracy cupboard a little bit. So uh, you'll be getting a bit of mischief. Uh, so that's going to be where I'm just going to be talking to as many people as I can find. And I'll be just going off on a rant about certain topics without actually having to have any video or things going off, you know. Uh, and I can just get to some discussion with people as well. Uh, so that's what's going to be happening with the podcast. So as for obviously the YouTube channel, it is staying as a conspiracy cupboard. And uh, later on today, we're going to be doing some more episodes for us. Like I said, I'm going to be looking into the UN, uh, how that all started, their influence over us, over these lockdowns of things through the WEF, uh, sorry, through the WHO, uh, looking into the WEF as well, uh, you know, the World Economic Forum. And who are these guys? You know, um, we didn't elect any of these people for the UN for any of these things. <laughs> I can't remember having a vote on who was going to be our representative at the UN or anything, or whether the UN should be together and all this stuff. I do think a United Nations, uh, some kind of a united understanding across the world would be ideal and, you know, idyllic. But um, whether it happens or not, and whether trying to force people to do things the way that people do, and obviously, you know, how it is at the minute, then, uh, hey, who knows? I haven't got the friggin' answers, uh, but I can certainly ponder some questions and I can certainly put some things out there. Uh, obviously, we've got some more things coming up on the UFO topic, so look out for that. Uh, so, yeah, so thanks for listening today. Our little rant while he was driving. And, uh, well, me, Mischief, having a little rant. <laughs> I was, well, I was Dave at work, you see. Mischief here. Uh, so, anyway, thank you very much, and I shall see you a little bit later on in the actual episodes that I'm filming. So, yeah. To our folks. Dad, I found one of your pals. Let me, uh, let me just go and show you. Look at this dude here. Hey, how cool is he? That is, uh, that is awesome. Look at him. There you go, Father.